Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new RuneScape video. Oh, well, it's been like four months again since I last uploaded. My bad. I got a little bit burnt out after leagues and went back to New World. Played that for about three, four months. And now I guess we're back to RuneScape. We're gonna give it a fair shot. We're gonna test out the Varlemore expansion and see how it feels. This is just a first expressions video. We're gonna be testing a little bit of Colosseum, a little bit of new bosses, check the Hunter's Guild, do the quests. And with that, basically everything Varlemore more has to offer. So that being said, let's jump right into the video. I'm gonna be honest, I spent the last five minutes trying to figure out how to get to this place. Uh, we're now east of Varrock and I'm speaking to Regulus Sento. Surely this is the way. Okay, um, we are here. Nice, lovely. There's some birds apparently. Yeah, I'm right in the middle of it. Is there a bank here? There is a bank down there. There is a bank down here as well. I think this is the Colosseum. I say we just send it. We just go right into it. I'm getting full inventory of brews and some restores and we see how deep we can go. If you guys do not know what Colosseum is, it's a wave based minigame every single time you complete a wave it gets harder and harder that's a tldr basically outside of that i don't know anything about it so we're gonna figure it out experience it together for the very first time let's see how it goes all right that's how i'm going in and obviously at the start it's all about learning so let's figure this thing out all right let's just go let's just go no more procrastinating let's just figure this thing out oh oh all right let's take a look Player is drained 20% of damage received. Enemies never miss a hit. One damage. Okay, that sounds pretty bad. Your maximum HP is reduced by 10% and can no longer be boosted. Okay, so you can't overheal. We haven't gotten any loot yet. Okay, so basically the longer we stay, the harder it gets, the more loot we get. Sounds simple enough. Let's, uh, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's figure it out. What the fuck? There is like a mage. Okay. Okay, there's like a shaman. What is this guy doing? That's two mages, one melee. Yeah, one guy is smacking me. Okay, maybe I can save spot the mage. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm so ass. Okay, um, right. They're running. Why are you running around, man? Stop. Okay, I go for this, I guess. What is this? Jaguar warrior. I just got clawed out. Looks like uh, you can protect against everything, though. Uh, but yeah, I the start was really bad because they actually run around pillars. I thought I could maybe save spot them. Okay, we've done the wave one. You must choose before continuing. Start the wave. Okay, let's take a look. Player is drained by 40% of the damage received. Your maximum HP is reduced by 10%, can no longer be boosted, or healing items spawn and aid your enemies. I guess we just go with our prayer being drained even more. So maybe mage to start off with. What? I took a 40. From where? Oh my god, I have this thing on. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm so bad. Uh, but yeah, so far, uh, conclusion is I am very, very bad. Well, this guy spawned. Okay, that's the that's the guy that claws you out. And uh, apparently you can save spot this guy, so that's kind of chill. What does this guy hit with? Javelin Colossus. Okay, that makes sense. That's a range, right? Oh, I need to move, bro. I was like clicking my record thing. Okay, even more prayer damage. Enemies can explode on death or enemies never miss a hit. <laughs> I mean, let's just take more, more, more prayer being drained, I guess. Okay, so both of those can be spotted. Okay, I mean, so far, very straightforward, I'd say. You get these three little minions. They all hit you with like different styles, uh, which I'm very bad at protecting. Then the claw guy comes out. But you can save spot him on this style right here for some reason. So he's basically kind of useless. And then every wave there's like more mobs and more stuff hitting you. This is actually pretty fun. I can see this being very replayable actually. I like it so far. Okay, so now we have a lot more options. Either enemies explode, energy orbits on an area slowly. Okay. Uh, or the Doom Scorpion continuously spawns and hits for two stacks of Doom. Certain death after 20 stacks. Okay, this seems like a horrible thing to take. Doom Scorpion. Right, do we just take that enemies explode on death? I think it's like an easy way out here. Okay, looks like boom. Okay. Oh, right, they're exploding now. Shit. Oh, I'm dead. Uh. What? There's a Scorpion now. Hello? Who put that there? Bro, that guy keeps... Okay, they, these guys never miss or what? Looks like one is ranged and maged and melee. If it works with how everything else in the game works. So let's try. Range. Me, mage, melee. Yeah, and it's one tick apart. Okay, so range, mage, melee again. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, this is kind of cool though. I like it. Very unique. 
but it does look like it's always range mage melee. Okay, GG. All right. Um, I'm probably banking here and taking a different inventory. But looks like we got some splinters, some cannonballs, and chaos runes. How do I claim it? Okay, let's uh, let's bank and uh, change things around. Okay, that's actually really cool. Look, we now have a reward chest over here. There we go. I guess new collection log slot, and we can take our very first uh, our very first loot here. Very cool. I like it. This is really well done, actually. Uh, so let's give it a shot with mage, see how it feels in comparison to range. I do think there is like a leaderboard thingy here, so we can view our stats, we can view our statistics, we have four completed waves, basically we are trash. Uh, and then if we look at the glory, we can now access the bank at the Colosseum, so we can bank right over here. Uh, which is kind of neat, kind of kind of close, kind of nice. I like it. How does the mage feel? Can I actually lend my freezes? So that's the idea, right? I lend the freezes on the other dudes then kill the people that are actually on me but how will this feel so far not too bad actually i'm gonna be honest i do think this is a little bit expensive to use though might be losing a bit of money but that's all right that's a different one bees a swarm of angry bees drifts around the arena uh i do think i can probably take this one. Oh, could i do something like this wait hold up that did something i can do it like this now and just kill one at a time okay hold up so running from pillar to pillar actually helped me a bit Alright, these guys are sprinting right through. I kind of like that. And they always position like in a circle around you, which I think is pretty nice. So I can kind of heal with those. Okay, there's the... Wait! Why did the claw guy go through? What? Why did I get dragged? What? No, 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 no. Hey, 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 I need a replay on this. Why did I get dragged? Okay, well, we died. Let's see. Loot. How much do I pay here? 102k. Okay, I have more loot there actually. Okay, that is not that expensive, but a little bit expensive, you know what I mean? I think that was a scam though. So 3 million coins investment, bought all of them, perfect. Uh, let's take a look. So do I just use this on that? It looks like it is actually that simple. Now, if you guys do not know what this is gonna do, I do believe it's gonna boost my magic even more and it's actually not gonna drain. So this is actually gonna be a solid boost for every time we're using magic. I haven't played RuneScape in a minute, okay? I don't really know. What I do want to figure out is there's more things in Varlamor that I haven't experienced yet. Sure, we have Colosseum right here, but I do believe there's some other bosses. Uh, I have no idea where they are, how I get to them, and what there is to do. But I want to experience everything today and make like a little video about it. It appears that my home is Zuma over here, actually Atala, uh, likes to be in the air. Do I not have requirements to start this quest? There's no way. My guy, I'm maxed! Don't tell me I need Defenders of Varrock, because otherwise we're gonna be, like, going controversial here. I guess we're going to Sunrise Palace. Let's start off... Why am I doing quests right now? Alright, well, Twilight's Promise. Let's, uh, let's start it out. Let's see how hard it is. Okay, looks like we can start this quest right here at the palace inside Varlamor. And, uh, let's take a look. So, hopefully these quests aren't too long, by the way. I don't want to be questing for, like, five hours right now. Uh, but let's start it off. Oh my god, this questing on the release drives me crazy because like, what the fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I need to convince- bruh, I should be reading the dialogue, huh? Okay, I think I figured it out. All I needed to do was to bring this drunk guy to the fountain, and now we're chilling. Okay, it looks like this guy wants us to fight him, and we do need uh, two styles to beat him, apparently. Is that it? I think that's it. To convince this guard, it looks like we're gonna need to go on ships and search for crates with weapons. For me, the crate was located east of this little water source. I need to get an amulet from pickpocketing. Okay, found the amulet. Hey, yo! We can now travel with a bird. Ah, there we go. Twilight's Promise is finally finished. We can now use Quadzilla's, uh and the teleport and we get a little bit of thieving xp very cool the next quest on the list is perilius moons also pretty cool info is you can build these unbuilt landing sites which i assume you can then use the birds to go to it takes some soft clay some limestone bricks and quetzal feed sacks i don't know how to get those feed sacks but i think i want to figure this out dude i've been searching for this damn dungeon for too long man where am i supposed to even go wait a second this has to be it this sulfur nuga Okay, that has to be it, right? Alright, perfect. Dude, you guys have no clue, but why did I not just think that it would be like here? I was everywhere, man. Uh, whatever. Alright, we're now in the city. Beautiful. What is there to do in here? Let's figure it out. There's some builders, there's some guards. This place is huge. Oh, I need to think. 
I need to think. All right, let's figure this out. Oh, the fuck. Okay, there we go. Found him. Okay, that was that was annoying. That was annoying to get, but I got the three items. I am completely <laughs> confused, bro. There's a chest in here, bro. Surely. I guess first time experience. Let's just click the statue. Items dropped within the area may be retrievable. My biggest fear always when I do this content is I don't know how to get my stuff back if I die. We go, we're going in. First experience. Oh, what? Melee. Okay, we're dodging. I didn't know this was like a multi encounter. I thought this was like a solo boss thing. Okay, so we need to stand on those and hit it. I am so not sure what the fuck we're doing. Just gonna eat. So basically the idea is you move around. I don't think mage is too good for this, I'ma be honest. This is for sure a melee boss because with magic it's so awkward. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, we did it. Now proceed on to the next one. Okay, I see what's going on. So I need to kill one of each of these and then I go here to claim the loot. I'm gonna assume. All right, new thing on the menu. We're going with melee. I don't have Torva, but I have Bandos. Will that be fine? I'm sure it will be. We have Scythe. Let's figure out this next fight versus Eclipse Moon. Oh, Zuma got cooked. All right, let's take a look. What do we got here? What is going on? I can't even attack. Am I supposed to just like pray and auto hit or what? Oh, I need to turn towards it. I see. What is this? I'm so confused. I think I just need to turn towards it in those moments. Okay, but this one, we slap it hard actually. Wait, this one might be very enjoyable to kill. It's already halfway done. Hold up, we might be onto something here. I guess I go under this, hide behind it maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. It's like a fucking Zook fight over here. Usually you want to be a little bit ahead of stuff when when stuff moves like this. So be like with the front corner. Usually that's how it goes. Uh, I really like this. this. This fight is like a bit more chill for sure. It looks like a much easier uh, fight as well. Like this by moving basically. It's really odd. Uh, I don't think there's any interaction that works quite like it. Uh, but the cool part is it's different. It's new. Um, there we go, we got another kill. I don't think we get any loot, so... Alright, last one. Oh, I can come in right as the fight is actually going. So the same... All of them have like the same idea. I should probably bring a spec weapon now that I look at this. I don't know what you can drop here. I do not know what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe light the brazier here. Okay, we light the brazier. I guess everyone has to do it. That is in the room. Dude, is it... I really like this, by the way. I'm I'm really enjoying the, the mechanics of this boss rooms. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, looks like Scythe is definitely the way to go, so don't do the whole mage thing that I did earlier. Uh, actually, this one seemed extremely fast as well. I'm not even gonna lie. And there we go. Just like that, we've actually killed everything. And I think I can now go and complete the quest, maybe? And there it is. The Perilius moons are also completed. 40,000 Slayer XP. That's actually a lot. 5k runecrafting, hunter, and fishing. We have a bunch of quest points. I think there's some more quests when it comes to this zone. So I've killed Blue Moon, Blood Moon, Eclipse Moon. And yeah, there it is. Just like that. I get the Atlatl Dart, a U Seed Soft Clay Swamp Tar, and Super Compost. But. I think I need to kill one of each and then I can claim it. Okay, good. Uh, so yeah, looks like I need to kill one of each, then I can loot. Then one of each, then I can loot. Very, very interesting, very different from anything else I'm used to in the game, really. So uh, that is that is cool. That is cool. I like it. Don't mind me just questing. This quest is about frogs jumping, electing. I don't know. It's a weird one if you want to read the dialogue, but I'm just holding space. But regardless, uh, seems to be a very quick quest. Hey, there it is. Ribbiting tale of a lily pet labor dispute. A very, very interesting quest. Let's put it that way. Nice little five minutes spent on that one. First time entering the Hunter's Guild. Let's see how this place looks. The entrance is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Can't complain. Um, and what is in this place? I'm gonna assume there's like Chinchompa spot and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go down before we do any questing. And I kind of want to see what there is. Uh, there is the moonlight stuff. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. You get logs, you trap it, you tease it, you jump it. I don't have a teasing stick. Of course I don't. Okay, so there's like lots of new mobs you're uh, you're hunting, I guess. Okay, and now we speak to 
Apatura and that should finish the quest. The quest is fairly simple, you're just running around learning about things, fixing some stuff and that is it. Uh, now we actually have access to Master Tier Hunter's Rumors. And the way this works is by going down here, uh, and again this is completely me not being sure, uh, but this guy's expert and I guess you can do rumor, this guy's adept. Master. What is better, master or expert? I've heard rumors of a strange great chinchomba that you could check out for me. Once you find it, bring back some of its fur. Am I now supposed to be catching great chinchompas until I get this or how does that work? Um, <laughs> should we do it? Can I change it as well? Moonlight antelope deeper in the cavern and bring back one of its hooves. There we go, let's try this out. But I think that's normal, so I think I need to catch these until I get like something special basically. So I get the idea of it but there's so many people doing this right now that I don't think I want to be spending my time hunting at the moment. I'm gonna catch like a few more and then we're gonna go back to PvE but uh, I guess it's like a slayer for hunter uh, and again maybe I'll explore that further in a future video but I don't want to spend too much of this video just hunting monsters. So that being said hunters guild completed I mean it seems kind of cool, again, uh, it's hard for me to say because I haven't fully tested it out. But to sum it up, I think we've explored everything there is with the Valermol expansion. I mean, we have the Hunter's Guild, there's probably a bunch of different hunting spots all the way around. I'm not too interested in skilling at the moment. Obviously, we have the three new bosses, which you kill one of each and then you loot the chest, which is very cool. It's like a, almost like a Barrows vibe, really good with melee, it seems. And then outside of that, obviously, we got Colosseum, which is something I plan on grinding in the future. So those are the three things worth mentioning, I'd say. I'm gonna gear up for Colosseum now and uh, see if we can get good at it. Okay, next loot is four rune kite shields. That's actually pretty decent. Okay, next we are gonna be getting a Snapdragon seed, 35k, addition to our 250k pool. Just need to kill this first, I think. Oh, I'm tr- Okay, I am really shit. Alright, lovely. Uh, yeah, let me get my stuff back real quick. It is what it is, there goes the money. Ah, uh, but that's so fun though, because you're literally always risking everything. That's crazy. I'm really liking this, even though I'm very bad, which, you know, everybody should be very bad, this this just got released. I wanna be a little rat, I wanna test something out. I want to see how Justy would feel. 15, 22, 17, we'll take it, it's alright. Okay, trusty Justy, I don't know, I took the Fang, I don't really know what single-handed weapons are good, I took a Scythe, I don't really know if it works. So how would the start work? I think the start is the most, I need to kill the mage stuff first, basically. If I play magic, can my defense just tank it? So I need to kill this guy. Okay, this might be a disaster very quickly. The accuracy at the moment is looking sus. Alright, conclusion. Trusty Justy is not working, man. Yeah, they have way too much health. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, in conclusion, I thought that was something there uh, with the trusty Justy. Uh, it is not. Don't don't even attempt it. Uh, definitely either range or mage style for this fight. Um, mage was very nice when it comes to sustain. Range, obviously. Once, once people get really good at this, I think uh, people will just take hybrid, both range and magic. For now, I'd say focus on one style and see how deep you can go. Uh, there's gonna be future videos coming. We're gonna be looking into some loot videos from the new bosses, maybe a little bit more Colosseum as well. I'll definitely grind this out. Maybe I'll even turn a good old RuneScape stream on every now and again. But that being said, I do hope you enjoyed my first look into Varlemore. I still can't say the name, but it is what it is. I appreciate your patience with my very inconsistent uploads on this channel. And if you made it this far, maybe consider liking, maybe consider subscribing. I'll see you again very soon with another upload. Have a beautiful rest of your day and bye-bye.